bunch of coyotes over here somewhere. 33 degrees outside, it's about 16 here. Coyotes at my door. I'm ready for the coyotes. Oh, coyotes! <laughs> There's a bunch of burrows down there. The nice thing about these trees dying off is they, they provide nice fuel for anybody making a fire. Hi, if you liked my videos, please click the bell so you can be notified and come back often because I have new videos every week. It's a beautiful day over here in the desert and I'm gonna make a fire. Sunny as you can see it's going to be almost 70 but right now it feels a little bit cool and uh, and I am hungry and look at this beautiful view except for that but everything else beautiful. There's absolutely nothing like cooking with free, free fuel. I'm going to eat breakfast. I don't know about you, but I'm going to dig in. Get out of here. Darn it. Let me eat in peace. Even in the desert, I get interrupted doing my high production stuff. Unbelievable. Folks, I wish you were here. But since you are not, and I couldn't fit everyone over here, I will eat for all of you. Get out of here.
I spent a nice day over here right by the fire cooking and eating and cooking and eating stuff like that you know stuff that you do in places like this I am gonna take another shower right here in a great outdoors hopefully <laughs> nobody will come by like a couple people came over today Hopefully it's late enough. People are hunkering down and they're gonna leave me alone. And that's how you take a shower in the desert. Hopefully nobody saw nothing. Nobody says nothing. Hush, hush, mush, mush. Believe it or not, that meal that I ate this morning, that's all I ate the whole day. That was enough. It filled me up. That was my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I still haven't eaten anything. What time is it? It's about 6.30. And um, I might eat... I may eat a little bit of fruit. One pear before it goes bad. So I may eat that. And that's it. That's my... Uh, that's all I ate. That's all I had. You know, you think I eat a lot. But I, that's all. that was my whole food. That was my... That was my whole... I talk too much, don't I? All right, fine. My nose is peeling off. Probably sitting in the sun for too long. Anyway, folks, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, my boo-boo is getting better, though. I slice right through the, the nail and almost slice my finger off. Oh! Hold it, stop. Let's pick up a little bit. I got some subscribers of mine coming over here to see me, but they're lost. I gave them directions. How hard is it to follow directions in the desert? There they are. So what happened? You couldn't find me up there? <laughs> well, who's this guy? You got a nice van over here. You built it yourself? Yes, sir. This is the work of 12 years of living in vehicles. So you're looking for me. Yes. But you're looking for me sitting in a van. Makes no sense. Unbelievable. <laughs> they want to come up there where I'm at. I'm advising them not to come up there. They don't listen to me, so <laughs> there's going to be some scraping and... and <laughs> How's it feel to drive in the desert? Unbelievable. You scraped the ground a little bit back with, there. With the bumper? Yeah, on the back end. With the box? With the back end. Okay. The step. Thank you for coming over. Yeah, thank you. Melanie, it was a pleasure meeting you too. And uh, too bad you didn't bring enough food. You could have stayed here. Yeah, we could have. You know? yeah, we should have. They brought me a whole bag of oranges. And I know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to have orange juice for breakfast. Cool. Eric, thank you very we'll much. We'll see you on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. I'll, walk, I'll walk you down there. I'll go behind you. Okay. This way I'll walk a little bit more. Yeah, if you want it. Yeah. In case you have to hold that one branch back again, that would be good. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going this way. <laughs> oh, oh, almost floating over.
I think he's gonna bottom out over here again. Let's see, hopefully not. I think he will. Oh, no, no, forward. Forward. Stop, stop. All right, Melanie. Okay, go ahead. Yep, everyone should have a shot. If you can get a little bit of traction on that tire. Yeah. yeah, I can see it trying to pull the box off, huh? Yeah. Well, I think I said, <laughs> I don't think you should go up there. What? Melanie. You didn't say that. Didn't I say something like that? You shouldn't go up there. No, I didn't hear that. I'm advising them not to come up there. They don't listen to me. I, I think I said you it. You said, come and visit me up the hill. No, I said <laughs> you should walk up there. <laughs> I'm not an expert by any means, but I think this wheel should be on the ground. What do you think, Melanie? <laughs> I'm gonna walk to my van real quick. I'm gonna get my shovel and I got these plastic things uh, that go underneath the tires for snow or mud or whatever. And my help over here in the sand. Hopefully we'll get them out before send down. Cause I hear coyotes. Good thing the rolling your chip is around here somewhere with a jack and a ramp and a shovel. At least I'm getting my exercise in today. All right, Melanie, we came to the rescue. <laughs> Thank you. Try not to scratch them. Okay, I'll drive careful out of the hole. So how much do you think you could dig it out in the I think, I think you did. Okay. Because this will, um... They're still connected together. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna... oh, it broke. Watch. I have a big knife. I know how to use it. A little bit. A little bit. Ah! Oh, my finger! Remember when he was joking around falling on the rocks? Give it a try and see what happens. Oh, That's not gonna work. <laughs> I was having a quiet day, having breakfast, sitting by the fire. So nice, you know, relaxing. No manual labor whatsoever. They say to bring one shovel, they didn't say to bring two, right? I only have one. What do you think this is? Where did you think I live? Well, the, the survival. You realize I live one. in a you realize I live in a van, right? <laughs> Doesn't you know I live in a van? Unbelievable. Let's try it like that. If it's not enough, then we're gonna have to put some flat rocks in there. I don't know if it's gonna go. Because you're on, you're not even, no? He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and those who were his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of men, but of God. John 1, 10, 13.